visits solidify your belief that you're better off working out at home. You save up just enough to get a couple of dumbbells and kettlebells, a bar, and maybe a couple of workout mats. You start working out at home. Soon enough, you buy other equipment so that you can keep working on the muscles you want to strengthen. Gyms have become the laughing stock for people left with some sense of sanity in this society that is hyper-focused on labeling men as toxic. The gym industry is suffering and there are reports that say that gyms have lost more than 70% of their regular male customers because of women like the ones you just saw in the video. Gyms used to be just places for men to get away and relax and relieve some stress, which may have, coincidentally, included just getting away from women's scrutiny. So, if any business even attempts to restrict it as men only, it only takes one woman to file legal action to either shut them down, open it to women, or go bankrupt from fighting the courts which will find it in women's favor. To this young woman, this sense of entitlement when filming at the gym has gotten out of control. For you to get upset because there's people in your video, whether in front or behind, to the point where you actually get upset at that man behind you and you tell him to move out of your video? Really? I'm sorry, but unless your name is on that gym, your filming is never a priority over other people at the gym. It is a shared space. They pay the same membership fees that you do. If you can't film responsibly, you don't belong filming at all. You need to do better. Mind your own business. Men aren't permitted to avoid women in public environments, as it has that world-ending risk of men enjoying a bit of happiness or relaxation. The simple solution would be to ban camera usage. Most gyms are private property. If a membership is required, part of the membership agreement could be, is no recording inside the premises while the gym itself can have security cameras. Without the ability to shame folks for creeping, most would return to simply working out. Guys, don't be afraid to voice what you think of women. Instead of avoiding women altogether, just tell them straight up. If all men did that, women would have to change. Any woman recording- <laughs> the gym's management and the police. A two-way street. The same way that men changed after women started recording in the gyms. Or a group of men can hire a space, buy equipment, and create an exclusive fitness club, hire two personal trainers, and have exclusive access to the facility. Regular contributions would be to cater to the trainer's salaries, utilities, and rent. It may seem expensive at first, but worthwhile considering the amount of nonsense you end up avoiding. As I've said before, it really is a funny world we live in. Gyms were the one place we could go to in peace and work out, reflect, focus, and become better versions of ourselves. Now, going to the gym is a task in itself. If you go to the gym today, you can bet you'll encounter at least one woman with a camera or her phone on a tripod, trying to record everything she can so she can get all the curvy angles, which she can then edit and post online on her social media and dating accounts, where millions of thirsty guys have the opportunity to see her and more of her. When working at a gym, the women complain that the guys are staring. When the guys start working out at home, the women complain about why there are no guys who want to look at them. Female Psychology 101. Gyms are starting to ban filming. If this continues, a lot of modern women will disappear and go to gyms that allow it. Thanks for watching The Circle of Kings. As always, we're looking forward to your support. So please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything all kings like yourself need to know. HTTPS YouTube.com Watch NATO 6 fuhtaa 0.00037
guys are starting to realize that the only sanctuary that was left for them to process their thoughts in peace, vent out their frustrations in a healthy and productive way, and become better versions of themselves, has also been tampered with and defiled. Investing in your own home gym is the best thing you can ever do. It can take some time designing and buying all the equipment, but it's worth every penny. Waiting for equipment, no worrying about women recording or accusing you of harassment when you're not even interested, and you can work out any time for as long as you want. Privacy and peace of mind is worth it. Start investing in it, my brothers. You won't regret it one bit. Women experience creeps in the minority but assume most men are like that, so they become hyper-aware to protect themselves. But the men who are getting blamed are done so by the minority of women, and in response men withdraw in order to protect themselves. All of which is sensitive to some degree, though we all need to learn to interact with each other respectfully. Take phonies away from the gym, and just treat each other with dignity and respect. P.S. YouTube.com, watch. Neto 6 Fort A 114 148 The sad thing is, these women are spoiling it for the majority of good women out there who actually want to be approached in person. If you're a man with value and in decent shape, approaching a woman in person and giving her a compliment will make her day, provided she's a good woman. I've had women tell me they desire someone who'll approach them in person, not the ones who approach online via text or DMs. Gyms across the world are that one place where people go to work on themselves, find peace, and even help each other out if they're confused. That's the gym spirit. Sadly, that spirit has been broken by scores of female influencers who want to work out their egos and publish them online for the world to see, but will complain about the one guy who glanced at her when she was recording. P.S. YouTube.com Shorts 9FA Watkevsk of course, if it's a good-looking man, the recording keeps on, and the woman keeps doing her thing happily, but if it's an ugly guy, then he gets to be called a creep. The best thing about home gyms is that you don't have to worry about walking past a woman's camera, or merely glancing at a woman and then being accused of being a pervert. The second best thing about a home gym is that it has no monthly fees, and is open 24-7, always ready for you to work out and use whenever you want to. The gyms probably need to consider discreetly monitoring the gym floor. There are some creepy men at the gym but not everything is a federal incident. Some people just want some attention. It makes it hard on others. It's so sad how we manage to get an entire species so confused and filled with hatred for one another, that we actively find ways to be alone. The other alternative is for men to walk away from public gyms and find alternative fitness solutions, which they've started doing right now with the rise in home gyms. It may be unfortunate, but that's exactly what needs to happen. HTTPS www.youtube.com shorts QLG When these gyms start realizing they're not going to stay in business long if they keep allowing this kind of nonsense, it'll change. Not to mention when these predators looking for the next viral video realize there's no longer any prey, then they'll move on too. The good old days. You woke up in the morning, had a healthy breakfast, got out of the house or your apartment, and headed over to the gym. It was quiet, peaceful, a couple of gym bros working out here and there. You'd nod at the ones you knew. The rest minded their own business, helped you out if you needed them. There was a nice track playing on the speakers, not too loud and not too silent. The sunlight hit you through the windows. You could feel the new day. You could work on yourself. Think about the future and make your plans as you work out. Paradise. Compare that to today. You head out to the gym. As you enter, you see barely any room left to work out. There's loud music playing. Pop music and Britney Spears on the speakers. You see gym girls in their tights hogging on every machine that has a tripod and a camera in front. You make sure you don't glance at them in case they start accusing you of something. Some of the old gym bros you see look at you, and you both just know it's not the same anymore. You can barely do the workout that you would do before. You hear girls laughing recording their TikToks and Reels. Some are fighting, others are using the machines in totally unacceptable ways, but you know you can't help them. They'd blame you for coming too close to them as if they were supermodels, and the only reason you came to the gym was to see them. Half done with your workout, you get up and leave.